How's it going guys, Sharblogs here. In this video, I've got some updates for you guys about 3D avatar clothing, also known as layered clothing, whatever you prefer to call it, I guess. We have talked about 3D clothing quite a bit on this channel. So basically for today's video, a 3D clothing demo game is now live on the Roblox website. So we can check out the game and we can get a pretty good idea as to what 3D clothing will look like when it finally releases. Now the release date is still unknown, but I believe it will probably be later this year or at least the start of 2022. I've got a couple of tweets to show you guys first. Those tweets are about the way 3D clothing can work using a feature called Cage Mesh Deformer. Just keep in mind that this new feature is still in beta, so it might look a little bit weird. Got a tweet from Roblox. This is the Roblox Developer Relations account. And they said Cage Mesh Deformer is now in beta. Reshape mesh parts like clothing to let them look fabulous on any shape. So this is literally 3D clothing. And as we can see by the screenshot here, yep, I have to admit it does look a little bit strange, not gonna lie, looks really funny. But this is how 3D clothing is gonna work. It's gonna literally be like actual clothing inside of the game. Like they're trying to simulate clothing as like realistic as possible, I guess. They also posted about it on the Roblox developer forum. Now there is a lot of information here. So what I'm gonna do is leave a link to this in the video's description. So if you guys wanna read it, check all this stuff out. I'm not going to read through all of this in the video because it's just way too much and some of it is very complicated. Basically, it involves warping Roblox parts. So look at this. You can literally like deform Roblox parts. That's actually crazy. But yeah, like I said, way too much information for me to read in this video. So I'll leave a link to this page in the description. I guess Bloxy News summed it up pretty well. They said Cage Mesh Deforming is now live as a beta feature within Roblox Studio. With the Cage Mesh Deformer enabled, you'll be able to reshape existing mesh parts to make them look different. They also followed up saying, this is also the first step towards the upcoming 3D layered clothing feature. And as we can see by the screenshot here, with the former disabled, like 3D clothing just wouldn't work. This alpha character actually looks way too realistic. But as we can see with the deformer enabled, the avatars will look like this. So the clothing will fit the characters, it would kind of like look nice. Bloxy News also said, want to try the cage mesh deformer for yourself? Roblox has provided a few open source example places. So are these by like official Roblox admins? I guess we're going to play them. Um, let's play layered clothing first because that one is the most interesting and then maybe later we can check out these two. Here is the first game, Cage Mesh Deformer Layered Clothing Example. This game is made by Neo Builder 101. I will also leave a link to this game in the description of the video. Neo Builder over here is actually a Roblox admin so this game isn't fake, it isn't like some bootleg game, like this is actually legit. So let's play it and let's check out some 3D clothing. Inside of the game like what is going on? Why is the 3D clothing not loading in? Like what's supposed to happen here? Oh my gosh, why did this guy just lose his clothes? This is actually very disturbing. Yeah, what the hell? Have I joined like a broken server or something? Maybe I'll try another server. I guess I'm gonna join these guys because obviously the game is a bit glitchy. Like, I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, let's see. Is it working on this server? And what is going on? What is going on on this server? Literally everyone is over here in the distance. I guess we're gonna run over to them. This is actually one of the weirdest Roblox games I've ever played. Like, what is even going on? Oh, at least you guys are joining. Where is the 3D clothing characters? Like, why is nothing spawning in? Apparently someone pushed it off the map. So again, we're gonna join a new server. You know what? I can't be bothered with playing this stupid game. I'm just gonna edit it in Roblox Studio. That's probably easier, isn't it? What the heck is this? Look at this, right? If I kind of like alter the characters, I use like the scaling tool, we can actually see the clothes, but the characters like are just broken. Am I gonna get demonetized for showing this? Like that just looks weird. Let's not give up just yet. Maybe there is a way to get it working because over on the Roblox developer forum, there is actually a part that says, how do I use it? So it says you need to go to file beta features in studio, check the box to the left of cage mesh deformer and then restart studio. I guess it's worth a try. So what was it? It was a file. Then you go to beta features. Then you tick, was it this one right here? No, we need to find it. Oh, wow. There's actually loads of stuff in here. So we're looking for the cage mesh deformer. Where even is it? Oh, I just saw it. There you go. Cage mesh deformer. We're going to click on that. We're going to go on that, I guess. And then we're going to go on save. Um, then we're going to restart it. Uh, we're not going to save. All right. Studio is now restarting. Hopefully now it's going to work. I guess this will fix it. It actually worked. We actually got it working. Look at this. Layered clothing. I finally 
got it working inside of games. I wonder why it wasn't working on the admins game. Maybe I can join back and it might be okay now, but honestly, I'm not too sure. Now let's go ahead and test it. So let's click on test at the top. Let's go ahead and play this game. Okay, so loading into the game. Yes, we can finally view it inside of a game. So if I push these characters about, okay, so the clothing doesn't really move. I thought it would move a little bit, but it does look kind of weird. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you prefer? This type of clothing or this type? Honestly, I'm going to have to go with the normal kind of like Robloxian 1.0 type of clothes because this one here just looks kind of messy. It just kind of looks all squashed and it just doesn't really look right. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. I'm sure some people are like it. I mean, people like every single Roblox update. You know, you get those like hardcore Roblox fans that are like, oh, Afro is brilliant. Yeah, guys, look at it. It's brilliant. We've also got this game, the Cage Mesh Deformer. More examples. I guess we're going to play this. Maybe this one will work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Let's just find out. Okay, I think this example game is actually working because it's literally like doing what it says. As we can see, this one's been twisted. This one is a cube. Actually, those ones are kind of boring. We've got a genie. What the heck is that? It's like a pyramid thing. Oh, maybe it's like a genie like coming out a lamp. Like That's what they're going for. Uh, we've got some bends type thing. It looks like a um, skate park ramp or like a fin or something oh this one's pretty cool this one looks like melted plastic and then the last one is layered deformation and it's disappeared so like i said guys this feature is very new it's in beta and that's probably why some of the stuff is like broken and just going missing we have got this game as well the cage mesh deformer simple scene i guess we can join and have a look at this see what it looks like here we are in the game and the game's title didn't lie it's in fact very very simple but it's kind of got some like twist effects going on right there now I can start to see how this like deformation stuff is actually working. Pretty cool. I guess we can try the actual Roblox game like one last time since I have actually enabled the settings in my Roblox studio. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I guess we can test it. Let's just go and join a brand new server. This server's got three people in. Maybe that one's okay. Let's join this one. Inside of the game, but it's still broken. So having joins on on this game is a little bit pointless because you can only really do it in Roblox studio. So there you go. If you guys really want to test this out make sure to go ahead and do it in roblox studio because on the game it just won't work whatsoever so yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one